All right, for two days, assignment is a thank you video. Um, I'll go over that in just a second. Let's just go over uh, bell work really quick. Don't forget to do attendance. If you haven't done that, go ahead and get that done for today. We got finished bell work and turn it in and then a thank you video. So let's go over bell work, images, cast system. This one works really well. Okay. So this uh, cast system kind of shows you the different levels of the cast system in the Hindu faith. Um, it's better than the triangle charts here. Okay, it just kind of gives a little bit more detail. But I mean, any of those would have worked. Okay, so anything that shows you the different uh, cast systems, anything that shows you different levels of the cast system works. Okay, Hinduism, the religion. So just kind of find something about the religion. Okay, any of the gods. Okay, so different gods. It is polytheistic, so it has hundreds of gods. Uh, poly just means multiple, theistic means God. So you see there's different gods all over, everywhere. You got the different Brahmins who are kind of like their priests and stuff like that. So a ton of images about Hinduism. You can pick any one of these and they would work fine. Okay. The Vedas, which is their holy book. Okay, so here's a picture, good one that works, kind of shows you the Vedas. All it is is just like a picture of a Bible. Okay, so if I did Christianity, you would just show me a picture of the Bible and that would work. Same thing here, show me a different picture here of the Vedas, so all of them work. Okay, so all these pictures work because it just shows you the different writings and teachings of Hinduism. Okay, and then the last one, civil rights, just write civil rights in, in the image. Okay, you see a ton of it. A lot of this is in America. If you did this with Gandhi, you could have done the same thing. Just type in civil rights in Gandhi or his salt march or one of his fastings. That would work just as well, too. Okay, so anything in here would work for civil rights. All right, so just download the image and upload it to the Word document and upload it to Canvas. All right, which brings me to my actual assignment today is a thank you video. Now, I've been thinking about this a lot, trying to get this how I wanted to word it correctly. Today, just take a moment and make a short video to thank those people who are still working out there today um they've been out there working since it started people i mean we're talking about everyone that's out there working not just the nurses i mean there's people working at the convenience store i was listening to a podcast and this is where i kind of got the idea from the person was like it, he's a does he works in Hollywood and he's talking about how he has it so well because he's so rich and he doesn't have to worry about kind of things like this. And But then he got sick and he was starting to worry that should he go out and should he not go out. And he went to a Rite Aid, which is like a CVS for us. And this person was still working there on a night shift. So two o'clock in the morning, this person is working at the store, making sure people can still get medicine, still get uh, toilet paper, still get what they need. And she's just a part-time worker there. And the guy's like, Something about that one person working there in the middle of this coronavirus scare at two o'clock in the morning to make sure that I feel better about myself. It just, it speaks volumes to what uh, people can do for the community and people who are willing to do to help each other out. And so that's why I kind of wanted to bring this up to you guys. Just take a moment. We've been doing this remote learning for a long, was it a third, third week now? Um, we had the first week, then we had spring break and now going on there. So we've been doing it for a while. And I just felt like we just need to take a moment and reflect on the people out there that are still working constantly. I mean, I keep on seeing posts. I keep seeing things about the healthcare workers, the firefighters, the policemen, the farmers, the people working at Kroger and Walmart and all that that are keeping uh, food stocked and keeping everything ready for us so that we can just kind of live. I mean, I know we're not in a hundred percent back, but I mean, we can still get food, we can still get water, we can still get the basic needs to still live. I mean, we have internet, I'm doing it right now. So that's why I wanted to do this. So if you look at this, thank you. Um, it's just simple. It's just kind of take a moment and thank someone. Okay, I have a Word document, it looks like this. Okay, it just kind of goes over what I've been talking to you about. Okay, there are three videos here. You guys can watch it, kind of get an idea. So I hit control click, oh, there it goes, okay. They should be all approved by East Noble. Um, yes, they'll have ads and stuff like that, but uh, they should be all approved so you guys can watch them. As you see, just these people are just thanking the healthcare workers. All right? They even sing a song about it. So it's just, and they're from all over, people from Spain, people from Lebanon. So it's not just one thing here in America, but it's a worldwide. Um, people are thanking these people. Think people are just giving back to these people that are risking their lives because coronavirus is, I mean, it is deadly. So 
I just want to have you guys do that. If you see here, it has to be five seconds long. Um, nothing too elaborate. Just a quick thank you can work. If you want to make it elaborate, go ahead and do so. And if you just want to um, just make it short and sweet, that is fine. All right. So with that, I'm going to go back, stop recording, and ask any questions.